Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as you guys know, I do a lot of tutorials and covers uh, in terms of instrumental stuff, but I want to start bringing some more stuff to the channel, making some more videos. Um, and one thing that I wanted to do is a little bit of production stuff. Um, I'm no professional. I just do this for fun. But if you guys can learn some stuff from what I do in production for covers or music or anything like that, I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, my main program is Logic Pro X, but GarageBand, Ableton, any of those works. Um, so I want to do a video today on trying to recreate Eden's pitched up vocal from Crash. Now, I thought it was a girl singing this the first time I heard it. So obviously he did this very, very well. And I know we're not gonna be able to get that quality, but I just wanna see if we can get something similar using only free plugins so anybody can do this. So let's lay down a guitar track and loop it. Let's put in a little drum sample and then we'll sing some vocals over the track um, and see what we can do in Logic. Let's just have some fun with it. So. Let's go into Logic here and make a new guitar track. So input two. And I've got my guitar plugged in. Cool. So we're just gonna pick a default for the purpose of this. We don't need to make it perfect. Let's just do a studio stack. All right, great. So I'm gonna play this to a metronome and we're gonna start a couple bars before the pitch part comes in. So let's just record and see what we can do here. Cool. That's all we need because we are going to just loop it over and over again. So now that we've got that in, let's cut it down to size. We need it to be exactly at 15. There we go. Cool. So let's just make a bunch of copies of it so that we can sing over it. That works. So let's try and do a vocal take here. Cool. That should be good for the purposes of this. Uh, let's give it a quick listen. Rain on these brown eyes, but they can be green if they really want. That's really the only part that we're concerned with. So now let's hop on to the drum track. I'm gonna bring up Splice. And I had kind of already picked out this sample beforehand. It's just a slow-mo. I think that's going to work perfect. It's 110 BPM. So what we can do, hit File, Functions, Time and Pitch Machine. So our original tempo for this file is 110, and we want it to be 120. So we're gonna pitch shift that. Cause you are not. Oh, it's gonna be really loud. You think you are. There's no grain on these brown eyes, but they can be green if they really want. Cool, that should work. Doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be something, oops, that we can have in the background. Cool. So let's do a little bit of mixing here. I want to bring the levels on the guitar and the drums to be okay. These drums are really, really boomy in the mids. See this bump between 100 to 200? Um, these are already mixed, the samples are, but I'm kind of tailoring it towards what I need. Pull that, and then we'll just pull down around the mids here. Let the vocals kind of come through. We're watching the volume in the bottom left be at about negative 12. Now let's bring in the guitar. These already have effects on it. Let's, uh... Kind of tailor it to what I need again. Don't need as much of that bass. There we go. It's not perfect, but once again, it's okay for this. Let's 
Cool. So let's hop onto these extremely disgusting vocals. You think you are? How could you do this to me? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna highlight this area Cause here. You, Cause you, cause you, uh, cause you are not. You think you are? Um, let's start off with a de-esser. There's no grain on these brown eyes. This is gonna get rid of those harsh s's. They really and I have a sneaking suspicion not, that you think you are. when we pitch shift this and formant shift this like Eden does, it's gonna accentuate those harsh S's and P's. Um, so let's take a preset that I have here, and take the frequency up a little bit. We don't need it to be as... Cause you are not who you think you are. You can see the activity blinking. There's no grain on these brown eyes. But Just a little bit, can... nothing extreme. Bring in a channel EQ. Cause you are not who you think you are. So I kind of have a, a a way that I EQ my own voice, but I'm gonna do it more extreme this time for purposes of this video. So let's take this around 200. Cause you are not who you think you are. Remove a bit more of the mids. There's no grain on these brown eyes, but they can be green if they really want. Cause you are not who you think you are. Normally my rule when mixing is do not add, rather cut, <laughs> but Let's just add for the hell of it. Cause you are not who you think you are. There's no grain on these. This is absolutely eyes, not a mix. This is just a crash. Really want. Get it? Crash. You are not who you think you are. Cool. That'll do for this. The big thing is a pitch shifting. Um, next, let's add a compressor and just really compress the hell out of it. Like I said, for the purposes of this, I'm gonna take the vintage opto. Cause you are not who you think you are. Let's just extreme. There's no grain on these brown eyes, but they can be green if they really want. Cause you are not who you think you are. There's no grain on these brown eyes, but they can be green if they really want. Cause you are not. Cool. Cause you are not who you think you are. Let's bring it down a little bit. There's no grain on. Cause you are not who you think you are. That'll do for me. Um, next, we're gonna add a little bit of pitch correction. A tiny, tiny bit. Um, I am pretty out of tune. This is not the key that I would like to sing in. Um, but it is the key of C minor. So let's just hear what this sounds like. Cause you are not who you think you are. There's no grain on these brown eyes, but they can be green if they really want. Cause you are not who you think you are. Cool. I think that'll do. Um, just in case when we put on the vocal transformer, it, it kind of screws up a little bit. That should hold it together. Let's listen. Cause you are not who you think you are. There's no grain on these brown eyes, but they can be green if they really want. Cause you are not who you think you are. Not perfect, but screw it. Let's make a duplicate copy of this and copy another one so that we can pitch shift this one up and leave this one the same. Let's mute it. And how could you do this to me? All right, another thing that I think that we should add that I didn't really think about before is the fact that there's a lot of noise in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but you can hear my refrigerator running and I have my mic gain turned up really high. So I'm gonna add a noise gate um, and this will essentially block out anything that's not singing. So let's. Cause you are not who you think you are. There's no grain on these brown eyes, but they can be green if they really want. Pulling back the threshold, so it's not quite as extreme. I can bend your words, so they say exactly what hurts the most. Yeah, it's a little. But silence is better than fake laughs or faking. We're always up. 
loose. That's fine. I just want to have the breaths in there or else it's going to sound really, really, really weird. So I thought uh, I was pretty naive. I was like, okay, maybe it's just a pitch thing. So let's just, I have a feeling it's more of a foreman thing, but let's just try pitch shifting this up one octave. Turn it up 100%. Cause you are not you think you are. <laughs> There's uh, no pain on these brown eyes, but they can be green if they really want. Yeah, no. That's definitely not it. That <laughs> sounds nothing like the real thing. So it's not just pitch. Um, let's start to mess with the formants a little bit. I can't tell you scientifically what a, f a formant is versus a pitch. I think it, it has to do versus pitch. It has to do more with the timbre of the voice. Um, I'll link a video in the description that does a really good job of describing it um, in terms of what happens in our throats that changes it. So let's get rid of the pitch shifter. And I know we can change formants with the vocal transformer. All right, sorry for that cut there. I went back and actually re-recorded the vocals. I was not liking them at all. Um, and I was having some issues. I think I, I recorded them a little bit too hot. And the problem with this new recording software is I can't hear what I'm recording. So let's go back to the vocal transformer. I will play for you these vocals, which I re-recorded. You are not who you think you are. There's no grain on these brown eyes, but they can be green if you really want. Cool. So got my noise gate on there. I've got everything. Um, I turned my pitch correction off because I feel like these are a bit better in terms of being in the right pitch. So let's open up our vocal transformer. And this is where we're going to start to change our formants. How do you think you are? So instead of taking the pitch up, let's just take the formants up to 12 and see what happens here. I don't think you are. Okay, yeah, it still sounds. Yeah. Um, let's pull the pitch up now along with it. So it's it's in pitch, but it just sounds a little bit like Alvin and the Chipmunky. Um, so let's start to pull back on the formants. There's no grain on these brown eyes, but that cause you are not who you think you are. I like that. Let's pull back on the mix. There's no grain on these brown eyes, but that cause you are not who you think you are. Now that, okay, I like that a lot. There's no grain on these brown eyes, but that cause you are not who you think you are. Let's listen to it with everything else. There's no grain on these brown eyes, but that cause you are not who you think you are. All right. Um, There's no grain on these brown eyes, but that cause you are not who you think you are. So it's a little, it's a little, um, it, it's kind of choppy. I think it's a, it's probably like a vibrato thing that's throwing it off because it's. Cause you are not who you think you are. It's like quick pitch changes once again because my voice is not perfect. It's kind of throwing it off. So. Um, I'm going to open up the flex pitch, which I already have down here. Um, and I'm not going to worry about the notes so much. I'm not worried about it being perfect, but normally I would change these notes so that they're, you know, the fine pitch is, is in tune. Um, but you can see the vibrato, this line representing the vibrato. It's pretty extreme. And when I'm listening to the actual song, it sounds like it's just, it's perfect. Like his, his voice is so tuned to each note. Um, so what I'm going to do is just, this is going to be really extreme, but I'm going to highlight everything up to here. And I'm going to take the vibrato from 98 and just take it to zero and just see what happens. It might sound really weird. Because you are not who you think you are. There's no grain on these brown eyes, but that cause you are not who you think. Okay, so uh, some things are out of pitch there. This is really shining through how much I am out of tune. So let's go in. Well, let's just turn on the pitch correction and see what happens. Cause you are not who you think you are. There's no grain on these brown eyes, but that cause you are not who you think you are. <laughs> so... At this point, this is no longer my voice. Like, this is me playing an instrument. 
Um, <laughs> it sounds pretty funny, but I think that's much better than it was before. Cause you are not who you think you are. There's no great on these brown eyes, but they can be green if you really want. Cause you are not who you think you are. So it's it's not it's not perfect. Um, this makes me appreciate just how well Eden um, does what he does. There's many things that could be fixed, but that's okay for me for right now. I I feel like that's an okay. Why do you think you are? There's no great on these brown eyes, but they can be green if you really want. For using free plugins, I think that'll do. Yeah, there's still some cracks in there. So let's bring in the regular one. How could you do this to me? You are not who you think you are. There's no great on these brown eyes, but they can be green if you really want. And I can't bend your words. So, general consensus, I think this was pretty much successful. I think this is definitely a part of the method that Eden used to create that sound in this track. Um, was it done this way? Probably not. This is pretty much a crash course, like just turn everything up and see what happens. But I think it, I think it sounds pretty cool. Not that I'd ever use this <laughs> without properly doing it, but um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, I'm going to be creating a more, more videos on, on how to mix properly for covers and things like that. Not just funny exploring stuff like this. So uh, have a great rest of your weekend or week whenever this comes out and uh, I'll see you next time.